Hi, Carla here, six plus months after knee replacement surgery, and I'm going to show you some exercises that I did to both uh, straighten and bend my knee. In this video, I'm going to use a yoga strap that I'm going to put around the bottom of my foot on the same leg as the implant, and ceiling mounted TRX straps to let my implant leg hang down and use sandbags to help it along. I place the back of each ankle into a stirrup and let my legs hang and let gravity do the work. I place a 20 pound sandbag on the implant knee. If you can take more weight, do. I use a 4.4 kilogram leg weight and a two pound ankle weight on top of the sandbag. I got the two pound weight at five below store. You can buy a pair of them for five dollars. When my implant was newer, that is a few months after surgery, I could only handle as much weight as I'm using right now for a very short period of time. To pass the time with weight on my knee, I do sit-ups and upper body weight work. I start with about 20 to 30 sit-ups. You can work out Three, along with me as you want to have the weight on your leg four, for at least five minutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Even though my knee is now fairly straight, I still work at weighting it on almost a daily basis. Next, I pick up a pair of 10 pound weights, one in each hand, and start chest flies. I do about 30 of these, again, in real time for you to work out with me. I'm not in the best of form for this video, sorry Three, about that, but I'm still spending four, at least five minutes with the weight five, on my knee. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. You don't have 17, to do the work along with me, but you 18, should keep the weight on your leg 19, for at least five minutes a day. That's what I do. 20. And I do the exercises just one to pass the time. Two, three, four. Five, six. In the seven, next section, I'm going to do a chest press. Eight. And I will just nine, do that in real time and count along ten, so that you can follow 11, along. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
Okay, that was 30. Next, I'm going to work on triceps, mostly skull crutchers. Here we go. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I do a little bit differently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So if you saw me wincing, it's because in part the weight on my leg, it's still even after six months, more than six months, a little painful to have all this weight on my leg and I'm still working on keeping it straight and straightening it. So that takes some willpower if you'd like and in addition to just doing the other arm exercises one of the reasons that it's really good to strengthen your arms is because you're going to need your arm strength to be able to put push your body up when you want to do exercises on the floor so that you can actually get up and get down without having to really use that injured surgery leg. Okay. And if you want more punishment while you're here, you can also do a little bit working on your posture. find that the leg is a little bit stiff afterward so I just but it you can really see that it actually has there's a little line just that's just from the um, from the weight from the sandbag press down you can use a little massager Now it's going to hurt to bend it a little bit, so, you know. but it's good for you to work on the bending. I'm going to show you bending exercises separately. While I'm here, I'm going to show you my practice of 
standing up. Thanks for watching the whole video, and I hope your healing goes well. Please subscribe to CB99 videos and give us a super thanks if you can.